Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy and Community. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of a very welcomed and exciting new feature available in Rise, which are customizable course themes. So stick around. You know, I've been using Rise since it first came out. I don't even know how long ago. And I love Rise. I really, really do. I've been using it for years and years and years, and I've used it for all sorts of client projects. But you know what? I'll be the first to tell you that, you know, because Rise is so template-based, right? Once you've seen one Rise course, it starts feeling like you've seen every Rise course, right? If we look at this Rise course here, we've all seen this before, where we have the banner at the top with the image and some text the start button, our description in our menu, and then we have the different blocks, right? We've all seen this before. If you've ever taken a RISE course or you've edited a RISE course, it's immediately identifiable as a RISE course. And over the years, I'll give Articulate credit, they've added some additional options to edit and customize the themes and change the fonts and change the accent color so that you can make it match your branding. But the general look and feel of a RISE course has always been more or less the same. However, that changed uh, recently. Uh, Articulate just launched a brand new feature available in Rise uh, 360, which are customizable, editable themes. And there's all sorts of different templates and layouts that you can choose from that really let you take your courses and customize them, not only just to match your branding, but to create different looks and feels and experiences, unlike all the other ones you've ever seen before. So here I am in Rise editing this course on a guide to workplace professionalism. And one of the things that you'll notice up here in the uh, navigation bar here uh, is a new tab for theme. And if I click the theme tab here, you'll notice it takes me into uh, sort of an editor where I can edit uh, these different themes and change the colors and the fonts. And I can change a whole lot of other options with how my theme functions and how it looks um, that I couldn't do before. So I'm gonna go through all these different uh, options one by one and just kind of give an overview and my initial impressions of it, all right? So the first thing that you can do when you're editing and customizing uh, your themes now in Rise is you have the option to change the theme uh, entirely. So I'm going to go ahead and change theme. By default, Rise uh, is the default theme. We're all familiar with this. This is what Rise courses typically look like. But if I change theme here, you'll see that now I have different options for different theme types. I have the Rise one. I have a new one called Apex and another one called Horizon. And I was looking at Articulate's website and they're gonna be launching a whole bunch of new professionally designed themes in the future. But for right now, these are the three that it comes with. You know, so I click on a different theme, we get a different layout for the image here. Here's one that looks very different from anything we've seen before with a new header and different uh, text and a different layout for the image and the start button and even uh, differences in how the, the menu looks. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this A one here. I kind of like this little um, angled image here in our menu down here. Now, you might think, well, that's not a whole lot, right? Like you're just changing the shape of the image, but you can do a lot more beyond that. So I'm going to go ahead and click save here to save this theme. And I'm going to confirm that's going to lose my changes from previous. Uh, and now we can go edit the cover page. And the cover page is the splash screen of the course. It's what you see when you first launch a course. And just as before, you can change the course image. We are all familiar with that. But there's different layouts. You can do a layout like this where you have a primary color and, and a different uh, shape. You can do that with an image here. Uh, and there's even ones where you can do shapes here on the left and the right and even have one like this with the image off to the side or off to the right like that. Of course, you can add a logo just like you can before, and it creates a totally different experience with how it's laid out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one. I kinda like the way that image uh, is shaped and kind of off the side of the screen there, right? I'm gonna click Save there. So that was the theme, we looked at the cover page. Now let's look at the navigation, right? We can even change how the menu looks and feels in the course, right? So we have our traditional sidebar menu, we're familiar with that, but there's other options. We can do a compact menu, uh, and we have different options for the compact menu. So we can do one with like a image down here, and now when the learner clicks, they get a little compact menu on the side, or we can do a dark themed one, or a dark theme with an image, or a solid color. Uh, there's a lot of options there to change the look and feel of that menu, right? 
I'll save that there. We also have an overlay option here. So if I select this option, this kind of gives a whole overlay over the whole course. So it's a much bigger menu. If I click the X here, it kind of flies out. I'll click the menu, bring it back in. And then again, there's a similar uh, number of options here. I really like this layout here. Uh, and you can do the color, all sorts of different options there, right? For me right now, like I really am digging this compact menu. I think that's very unique and different. I'm gonna go with the, maybe the dark themed one right there, like that, pretty cool, right? Um, so we'll save that. Uh, and then you have all the options uh, that you had before where you can control navigation, how lessons are marked complete. All these settings are the same as they were before. They're just in this new theme location. Now, if we go to buttons, we can also change the way the buttons function within our course. So we have the previous next button, right? And traditionally in Rise, the previous next buttons uh, that would take you from one screen to another were on the bottom or on the top, right? So we have the home button here at the top. And if we keep going down, uh, we have a continue block here. And then eventually you get to uh, a next button at the bottom. But now one of the things that you can do is you can change uh, where those buttons are. So you have full width, which is what's on the bottom, or you can do a floating button right here. So if I go back to the top here, you can see there's my floating button to go back to lesson one and all sorts of, and we'll go back home. And then we'll try, let's try going into like lesson three here, right? So we'll scroll down, go through our content here. Uh, and this is just taking us through our different lessons. Uh, but then you could have the floating next button down here at the bottom. I don't know if we'll get to that. Let's see. No, it's just taking me to the different lessons. But you'd have the floating button here, which is pretty cool. And you can also change the look and feel of these. You can do the accent color, dark color, white color. So if we go all the way back to the top, that's what that looks like. Or like it's in full, go back to the previous lesson. And let's see what these look like in mobile. Like, so if we do a tablet landscape here, yeah, just like that. We have our floating menu here, pops up like that. And it works just as well on a mobile uh, device, like a phone. It turns into the sidebar menu. Um, so we'll just click on one of these. There we go. And you can see that floating button up there, all right? I kind of like the floating button along with that floating menu. We'll click save on that as well. All right, so we looked at the cover page, we looked at navigation. Let's also look at lesson headers. This is a new feature. Let me go back into desktop mode here. Lesson headers are headers at the top of uh, the lesson, and there's different styles of these as well to kind of indicate you're at the start, start of the, the lesson. So you can do ones with an image and swap out the image uh, or solid colored ones. Um, or your own custom color as well if you really wanted to, all right? Um, this is pretty neato. Uh, and then also you can change the header height. So if we look here, we can do a small header or a medium size header or a large header, which is pretty cool. And then just as before, you can change whether or not it shows the lesson count or the author avatar, et cetera, et cetera. So you can really control the way these uh, look and feel in your course. Okay, colors. We can also customize our colors. So these are all of our accent colors that are built into Rise. And of course you can select a custom color. And as I was looking at the different uh, templates from Articulate's launch video, which, I, uh, uh, which is uh, on YouTube, it looks like in the future they're gonna be adding um, uh, additional color editing options to really change the look and feel of your course beyond just the accent color. So I assume that's coming here in the future. And then same thing with our fonts. So we have all of our different font options here. There's these different font pairings. So you can really change the way it looks and feels. And I assume you can also add your own custom fonts just as you could before, which is, uh, which is fantastic. I'm liking this Poppins font. I like that. All right, and then finally, we have some options for blocks. And it looks like we have some coming soon features. So we have our blocks animations, and then it looks like we're gonna have options in the future to make our blocks have rounded corners and, and, and customize the default padding between blocks, which I think will be really nice as well. All right, so that is an overview of how to customize uh, themes now in Rise. If I preview this now, you can see we have a very different course experience uh, look and feel. It's still recognizably as a Rise course, right? You still recognize it as a Rise course, but we have you know a new pop-up menu here. And of course, if I scroll down here, 
go back to the top, we have our floating navigation buttons, which are fantastic. So that's a quick overview of the new uh, themes, uh, customizable themes option in Rise. And of course, that leads me to my question of the day. What do you think of the new themes available in Rise? Are you excited to dig into those and uh, create some courses that look and feel a little different than what you've done, to, done before? Share your thoughts by commenting below. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, make sure to click that like, subscribe, and that bell button to get alerted the next time I publish a video like this one. And of course, make sure to join us inside the eLearning Designers community where you can connect and learn and network from others who are also looking to grow their eLearning careers. My name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I'll see you around.